How important are annuities for your financial future? Very good question. I'm glad you asked that. My name is Stan the Annuity Man, America's Annuity Agent, licensed in all 50 states. I'm going to answer that question and make some examples that should and might apply to you so you can make an informed decision whether annuities fit or not after this. So at the time of this taping, we are in a demographic tidal wave, meaning that there's over 10,000 baby boomers reaching the age of 65 every single day. And what does that mean? You're going into chapter two of your life. You already might be there, which is retirement or, or a scaling down of work that you work so hard to get to so where you can start living your life. I always tell, always tell people there's no U-Hauls behind hearses. And if you see, a, see one, take a picture and send it to me. You need to live life for the day. You really do. But do annuities fit for, for your financial future? Do you need them? Some people do, some people don't. Understand that you already own the best inflation lifetime income annuity on the planet, and that is called Social Security. I always love when people say, I hate all annuities. I'm like, do you hate Social Security? Well, no, I love Social Security. Well, that's an annuity. Or the people running the ads or the advisors that say, I hate all annuities. Well, you know, they're taking their Social Security and advise, advising their clients on Social Security. I just read a recent article, I won't mention his name, but very, very well-known financial advisor, national, and he said, I would not own an annuity for any reason whatsoever. I don't care what type. I mean, it was such a broad-based statement, it really kind of stunned me that he said it. And I do know him. I shot him an email just say, did you really say that? Because I, that's the reason I'm not mentioning his name, because I want to validate that. I don't, fake financial news, fake annuity news, maybe. But if he truly believes that, I went back on their site and they're giving advice on social security claiming and all that stuff in correlation with portfolio management, et cetera. Well, that's an annuity. And if their clients have pensions, that's an annuity. So it might fit for you, but I know there's a lot of cluttered messages out there. And in the financial industry space and financial journalism, a lot of the people writing articles or commenting on annuities have no clue at all what they're talking about period. That's the reason I do these videos. I do my Fun with Annuities podcast every Tuesday. I'm getting the truth out here about these products. I'll send you my books uh, under no obligation. Um, at the time of this table, we're still shipping hard copies out there. You just have to go to my site at The Annuity Man and, and sign up for it. We allow you to go to our site and run calculator quotes on all types of income annuities. There's a live feed for fixed rate annuity MIGA rates. We're giving away the information. Obviously, we want you as, as clients. We're licensed in all 50 states. I have a great team, huge team, um, and the offices are based in Las Vegas, Nevada. But the question is, is it part of your fi financial, financial future or not? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Remember, annuities are contracts. You're transferring the risk to the annuity company. Annuities are issued by life insurance companies. You're transferring the risk to them to solve for four primary th things. The acronym's PIL. P stands for Principal Protection. I stands for income for life, L stands for legacy, the other L stands for long-term care slash confinement care. Okay, if you do not need to contractually solve for one or more of those items in that PIL acronym, again, principal protection, in income for life, legacy, long-term care, confinement care, then you don't need an annuity, period. So if you're managing your money or you have someone manage your money for growth and you're comfortable with shouldering that risk, then you don't need an annuity. But what I would tell you is to, for people that need to consider it, what I'd like for you to do is look at the income floor that you need. What is that amount of money that you're currently getting or will get? Social Security is an annuity. Your required minimum distributions on your IRA can be semi-classified as an annuity because you got to take money out every year till the money runs out, right? But typically that's for life. So you have these income sources. If you have a pension, you're so fortunate to have that. Wherever, you, if you work for the state or the government or, or some good labor union, etc., you're gonna. That's a source of income. And if you have dividend income, etc., rental houses, whatever. What is that amount? What's that dollar amount that, that's hitting your bank account? And what is the the bogey? What do you need every single month to hit, so that you can pay the bills and go live your life? What's that income floor? And if you say, well, Stan, it's five thousand. I say, okay, great. Are you hitting that every month? No, we got four thousand. We need a thousand dollars more. Okay, great. Let's go to my calculators, run a reverse engineer quote, solving for a thousand dollars a month, using the least amount of money to contractually provide that lifetime income for you or you and your spouse, or whatever. And we can structure it so that any unused money goes to your beneficiaries. The evil annuity company never keeps a penny, even though they're on the hook to pay. To me, that's where where do they fit in your financial future? That's a primary role is lifetime income. 
and also to solve for inflation. There's not an annuity product that perfectly solves for inflation. The way to do it is when you need to fill in more income floor. Let's, so let's use the example. It's $5,000. We filled in the $5,000. You're getting $5,000 a month. In five years from now, you need $5,500. Then we run a reverse engineer quote for five, solving for $500 a month using the least amount of money as possible to solve for that income floor, the additional need for the income floor. That's the way to do it. And by the way, spoiler alert, if your income floor is in place like that and you, it's hitting your bank account like clockwork, you're going to be a better investor with your non-annuity assets because you don't have to disrupt those. You just can manage them. You can ride out some volatility. You don't have to pull money from them because you have your income floor in place. All right, the other primary reason that people use annuities, and it might be part of your financial future, and at the time of this taping, interest rates are rising, which is good. You might say, I don't want to lose a penny, Stan, but I, I want to know what the contractual guaranteed yield would be. You might be an old line CD buyer or a bond buyer or something like that that likes coupons. You like having money come in. Multi-year guarantee annuities, which is the annuity industry version of a CD, provides that. Okay, guaranteed interest for a specific period of time that you choose. You can, you can lock in as short as one year. You can do one year, two year, three year, four year, five year, and out. But if you combine those with CDs, um, you, you never touch the principal, just peel off the interest. You might have enough money to where you never have to touch the principal and just peel off the interest. Wouldn't that be good? I think so. I did a video recently called You've Won the Game, So Why Are You Still Playing? Which was a two by four to the forehead of like, why are you still in the markets if you really don't like risk and you don't like volatility and you don't like seeing your, your portfolio go down? Don't, can you not just solve it with contractual guarantees? Maybe. The only problem with that suggestion is fear of missing out. A lot of people just, they don't want to miss out on the next market mover, the next Tesla, or the next Bitcoin, or the next whatever. But my, th my thing is, if you're in chapter two of your life, who cares? It's about you. It's about your, you know, living off the money. And there's a lot of you out there that's just, you've been through the market gyrations for a long, long time, trying to build up this nest egg. You might be at the point where you can solve it all with contractual guarantees. So it is, are annuities, can they be a part of your financial future? Maybe. Um, are they for everyone? No. Should everyone consider them? Probably, especially as you, as you go toward chapter two of your life and you're trying to just go live your life, lifestyle, enjoy the grandkids and the kids and the, their hobbies and your associations, et cetera. Annuities provide that transfer of risk opportunity to have those guarantees in place so you don't have to worry about anything. I would encourage you to just go to our site and schedule a call. You're either going to get me or one of my associates that's been highly trained in stanisms and my brain, how I look at annuities for you, own them for what they will do, not what they might do. And we're going to quote pretty much all carriers out there for the highest contractual guarantee for your situation based on what you tell us. And we are tough enough, strong enough, confident enough, sassy enough to tell you when you don't need an annuity or you're putting too much money into an annuity or here's the way to solve it. We're going to be brutally factual with you. Guarantee that. So how important are annuities for your financial future? I don't know. It's worth a conversation. It's worth you, as they say, looking underneath the rock to factually find out if some annuity type works for your situation. Do me a favor, go to my site, you know, schedule a call with us, watch the videos. I would encourage you to go to my site and, and listen to some of the, the replays of the Fun with Annuities podcast, which comes out on all major platforms every single Tuesday. Have some of the brightest people on the planet and I just get out of the way and let them talk. So, you know, we're educating you out there. We want you to be a client. We're licensed in all 50 states, but we're going to react to what you want us to do. So with that, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you on the next Stan the Annuity Man YouTube video.